Hello and welcome to uh, the first of the series of the two video critiques. It's me, Colin Blakely, your instructor once again. How's everyone doing? Um, so yeah, we're going to start by talking about uh, Leah Frank's work. Um, so, as usual, we're going to evaluate these images as um, as images and then also as um, how well they fulfill the requirements of the assignment. So I'm going to switch over here to her images and she's labeled them um, appropriately so sRGB versus Adobe RGB etc. Um, so let's look here um, so far I'm liking the way that these look. Um, oops. <laughs> Get a little bit of the thing there. Well, we know that you shot this on the first. I was assuming that is correct. It looks like it's. I haven't looked at these before. It looks like it's just on the uh, small JPEG ones. All right. Now I think these are among your strongest images. These two here. Um, I like it the way it's divided. Um, this is nice because if you imagine that sort of rule of thirds, the edge of this tree trunk is just right on that line. Um, so it's a really nice sort of division of the frame. You have nice depth of field, obviously, with these being fairly sharp and this not being sharp. This is also nice. Um, going down here. <laughs> Some of these are sideways. I'm going to actually. You can't tell right now, but I'm holding my laptop sideways so that I can look at them. Um, yeah, I like, uh, just to go back up here briefly, I like this. I like what you're doing here. It's sort of a, uh, a nice color palette, very subdued. you got the greens, the oranges, and the reds. And this is also very nice, even though it's, again, fairly low-key, almost black and white, monochromatic. Um, this is nice though. I like this is cool. I like again depth of field. These have sort of interesting lines that are going through here created by the trees. And then just that little bit of color in what is otherwise almost, you know, black and white again is very nice. Um, I like a lot of these portraits um, of her daughter. This is nice. But I feel like you could maybe just crop it a little bit closer to her head. But this is really nice in terms of, again, we have that sort of, it seems like you, some of your most successful images are doing that, where it's like that rule of thirds thing is cut right there. I feel like, though, yeah, you just kind of want to tighten it up just a little bit. I feel like the top of the frame is here. You still have her whole head, but then it moves her face up a little bit from the center. Although, again, it's not really like the dead center is, is awesome, which is, as we know, more visually pleasing. Nice. I like what's going on here. Again, I'm going to hold my computer sideways, not that you guys can tell, but um, I like that. This is nice, the sort of repeated, um, uh, repeated lines, the repeated pattern going off here into the distance. Um, Yes. All right. So uh, let's let's do most successful, least successful. I'm gonna say most successful is probably either this one um, or one of these ones of your daughter. Maybe this is nice. Again, really well composed, off center there. So either the one I mentioned before, this one, or I like this a lot. Again, it just needs to be chopped right on the top there. Um, but yeah, you got some really nice stuff here. Okay, least successful. I'm gonna say probably um, one of these last two. I don't necessarily think they're bad. I just feel like. Um, 
like maybe you either want to like uh, move the horizon down so I mean it's almost it's like just a little bit like this is definitely too close to the center I feel like if you, you either want to push this down more to get like it becomes more of a minimal thing or you want to push it up more so it's you like you want this horizon to either be at that lower third here or at the upper third here and I feel like it's almost there but it's just a little bit high um, yeah I mean even that's it's not bad it's just um, I feel like you want to push it one way or the other uh, but overall very nice I feel like um, just looking through here your exposures are pretty good um, you know nothing's looking like falling outside of the acceptable um, you know range of like a third over third under um, so everything's looking good everything's pretty well exposed very nice uh, composition even this like you got sort of this line that's being formed here that's right almost at that third so yeah very nice um, I'm gonna briefly switch over here and look at what she wrote so the leaves the trees her daughter and the ocean are the four subjects she listed them here as well as the scene there. Thank you. I always like it when people, um, you know, like on an assignment like this where there's like multiple categories. Um, I always like it when people take the time to label them. It's like, um, you know, I mean, I can almost always tell, like, by looking, but, uh, you know, it's the difference between me spending, you know, five minutes going, okay, well, this is probably this setting. That's what it most looks like. And then, you know, kind of going do the others and saying okay it's not you know this is probably the raw this is probably not the um you know high sharpening it's probably not this probably not that whereas if you just simply tell me then I look and I know and it makes my job easier and you know I appreciate that um so yeah I, I wanna have looked over this briefly earlier um this is good. This, she's sort of she's talking here, giving me all the, the kind of stuff that I want. Um, you know, just basically talking about uh, differences that she saw between the settings. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, very nice job, Leah. And um, so if you've made it this far, you guys know that uh, I'm now going to give you the uh, the word. I'm gonna say. Uh, for this one, dinosaur. Uh, because I just looked at the floor and saw a toy dinosaur. Um, so dinosaur. So below where I've posted the link for this video um, in the discussion thread, just post. Just put a post there. Respond with your name and say dinosaur. <laughs> I kind of laughed uh, with the the people who like worked it into a sentence. I thought that was that was great so if you feel like you want to work it into a sentence so you're not uh, giving it away to people who haven't watched the video or if you just want to put the word dinosaur either one is okay um, I don't think too many people like um, like just look at the responses and try and figure out what the word is and then post their own uh, response with that word I think you either watch it and you put the response or you don't bother at all so um, but I did like um, seeing your sent where you like worked it into the sentence. I thought that was great. Um, so, all right, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.